welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad you clicked on this video. I'm going to be testing Emmy Way makeup from my bag here. Got a big bag of it. I got enough for a full face. I went to Superdrug yesterday and I just went to the Emmy Way aisle section and seen that they were having new launches there. There was a new launch there, I think. And I picked some bits and pieces up from there. And this is how it turned out. I think it's really pretty, it's glowy. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So here is my bag of goodies. Just full of anyway stuff. I have a receipt in here. In total it cost me £40 and 10 pence. Um, that included student discount and some other discounts as well. It says total discount eight, and then it took twenty five pound and ninety five pence off. So that's quite a big saving there. So I'm happy about that. So to prime my skin, I picked up the MUA Pro Base Primer Oil. I don't know how to do that. It's a hydrating base. Yeah, it's a hydrating base. I haven't used this before. Ooh. Looks like this. I like the packaging. It's like a glassy bottle. So I'm just taking this and applying straight to my skin. Oh, oh. it's very liquidy. <laughs> oh, look at my mouth. That smells like um. Oh god, sorry, my mouth. Oh. That smells like. Like men's um, shaving things, shaving cream. Oh my god, I look wet. Okay, first impressions. This feels greasy. Did I take too much? Not sure if you can see this. I think this just skimmed over my face and just made me look greasy. So as for foundation, I have the MUA Pro Base Longwear Matte Finish Foundation. This one. Um, I haven't heard anything about this. I haven't seen anyone talk about it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna give it a test and see how it goes. Apparently, it's full coverage. Which I like. Oh, I can't get this open. Got it open. Ooh, I did not expect that. Okay, it looks really thick. By the way, I got the shade 150, hashtag 150. If anyone would like to know what shade I got. I kind of like the applicator though. You can like take as much product as you want, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna put quite a bit on because I always end up going back in the tube. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna use my. It's a good colour for me when I'm tanned. Yeah, I've definitely put too much on. Shock. I thought this was going to be a bit more matte, but it's not. Which I'm quite glad about. But I think it's honestly that oil underneath my skin. That's making it look dewy. Because that oil is the greasiest thing I've ever tried in my life. Yeah, I actually think this is alright. I can't remember how much it was. Maybe like a fibre? I think it looks alright. This concealer, uh, Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer. I haven't heard anything about this either, to be fair. So for the concealer shade, I got the shade 130. It feels quite liquidy. It doesn't feel like it's going to have a lot of coverage. Um, in terms of the colour though, it looks okay. It's not as brightening as I thought it was going to be. And I'm just going to blend that out. Okay, 
yeah, it doesn't have a lot of coverage in my opinion. Kind of just looks the same before I put it on. It's just lightened it up a tiny bit. But I mean, it's okay if you don't want something that's too heavy or too thick under your eyes. On to brows, and I picked up two things. I got the Longwear Sculpting Brow Gel. Looks like that. And I also got the Brow Divine Micro Precision Eyebrow Pencil, which I've never seen before, so this must be new. And I can't wait to try this. I'm going to use them both. Okay, so it has two sides. It has the spoolie on the end, and obviously the, the brow pencil. So I'm just going to apply that now. I'm going to start off with the spoolie, just to brush them up. Hope the colour is okay. I think I got the colour in like dark brown probably. Ooh. Kinda just glides on. I actually like this. Colour's not too bad. Okay, obviously I need to clean this up. But I really do like this pencil. If you don't really like, um, if you're not confident using a pencil, then I wouldn't buy it because it's too creamy. You wouldn't have enough control over your hand. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go over this with the, the gel. I don't think this is necessary, but I'm just going to try it out anyway. Got the shade dark brown. No. Look at this colour. What? Is that red? That's ginger, right? Okay, I'm just gonna go in with it. You get a brush with it as well. Looks like that. I mean, it looks shit, but ooh, it's fine. Oh, okay. When you dip it in, it comes out darker. Okay, this is a lot darker than I anticipated. It's like almost black. Um, I'm really not feeling my brows, but we're just gonna continue anyway. I'm just done trying to make them look nice. So the next thing is powder, and I have this ultra fine loose setting powder. And I also have the Full Coverage Matte Press Powder, which I haven't seen before, so I'm excited to try this. I'm going to go in with the, setting um, the loose setting powder first, just to go under my... I have the shade Translucent, I believe. It kind of looks like a yellowy, whitey colour. Come out! Come out! Come on! And I'm just gonna make sure I have no creases in my eyes. And then just dab that on. I'm gonna try and bake with this. It's just casually got in my hair. <coughs> you can really taste it. <coughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna leave that powder underneath my eyes, and then for around my face, I'm gonna use the other powder. Looks okay so far. I hope it doesn't just leave a mark on my skin, on my face. I meant. 
the powder has gone everywhere though, it's all over my trousers. Okay, so this is the other powder. This is in the shade 150. I'm just gonna take this same brush, I think. Ah. Oh. So I just swim my brush and it's just crumbled. As for contour slash bronze, I got two things. I got this bronzed uh, matte bronzing powder and I have this bronzer too. And I don't know which one I'm gonna go in first. I don't know why I smell too. It doesn't smell of anything. I think I'm gonna go in with this one first just to see what the colour's like. I'm kind of scared. I'm just gonna keep on the... I'm not gonna go in that darker one. I'm just gonna go around it. Just... I think it's gonna be really pigmented. Oh. Okay, not as pigmented so as I thought. Got the other bronzer. Looks quite nice. Just using the same brush because I'm lazy. And this claims to be matte. Now I like the sizing on this one because you can just take it anywhere with you without fit in your handbag. Quite nicely. Or your clutch bag when you're on a night out. I think I prefer this bronzer to be fair. This is a nice one. I actually really rate these bronzers. To be fair, they kind of feel like they look the same. So, just buy this one, I'd say. Now nice. to moving on to eyeshadow, I picked this palette up. It's just a lot of warm tones in there. And I also picked up this Roll-On Shimmer. And I swatched this in the shop, in Superdrug, and it looked really stunning. It's like a bronzy colour, so I'm going to test this out today. But yeah, I think this was like £5. I'm not sure how much this was, I forgot. But this is in the shade Desert there's a shimmer. Okay, this is gonna be weird, but I'm gonna start off with this Oh shite this Brownie kind of color. This is not a matte by the way. This is like a satiny color And I'm gonna start putting that on my Oh well, That's come up more orangey Than I thought it was gonna be I'm just gonna keep dabbing that on, trying to blend it in my crease. Just going with this colour to like blend it on top. Actually, I'm just gonna show you this first, the the roll-on shimmer. I'm just gonna swatch it for you. This is it. Can you see that? <gasps> wow. Honestly shook. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna put the... I'm dropping everything. I'm just gonna put that gold. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't even open it. Right, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go in with this gold and then just put that as like a base for the roll-on shimmer. Just in the center. Now I'm just gonna apply this, which I'm so excited for. Just directly go on top of that shade. Now I'm just gonna wipe this off underneath. By the way, there was no fallout in that palette. It's up an eyeliner. I wanted a pen, but there was only testers left, so... I just went for the gel. I don't mind the gels. Like, I don't mind any makeup gels. But I just feel like they just take a bit longer than... than if I was just using a eyeliner pen. I thought this had a brush, but it doesn't. So I'm just gonna use any brush that I think that will work. And I have limited brushes because I'm moving from the halls in two weeks, so I've kind of packed everything. I'm going away, obviously, 
on Friday to Magaluf, so by the time I come back, I only have two days to pack up. So I've just thought I'd just pack now, just so everything's out of the way, and I'll just chill out when I come back from Magaluf. So, so I've just gone for a brush like this, it's just really small. I don't think this is gonna work, it's gonna probably be terrible, so bear with me. Oh, it's really black. The eyeliner is fine. I just had the wrong brush, so I couldn't apply it how I wanted to. But if you had the right brush, I think this is really good. I pick up a mascara from MUA. I've never tried the mascaras before. This is a waterproof one. So if this is good, I can probably take it on holiday with me. It looks like this. It's pretty cheap as well. Everything from MUA is cheap. So this is the brush. Standard brush. I'm just gonna bring my, my mirror closer. Okay, so first impressions. It's actually doing nothing for my lashes at all. Just tinting them black. Not a fan of this one. The lashes on, I'm gonna let them dry for a minute. I'm going in with blusher. And I have the other blusher, which I'm obsessed with. I always use it, I always use this one. But I picked up this colour. Which, I don't know if I like this sort of colour. But we're gonna try it out anyway. With the other blusher, it's not that pigmented, so... I hope this is... No, look at that. One dip. I think you should be careful with blushes like these. Actually, I just try is this highlighter. There was two of these. This was the I got the Golden Delights. There was a lighter one as well, but this one was calling my name more. So I'm just gonna unbox this. It's so pretty though, doesn't it? Just gonna swatch them. That's the first one. That's that one. Then I'm going with this one. That's really the quite cr like the quite crumbly. But I don't care about that. And then the last one. Which is for kind of a deeper skin tone. This one right there. Which is that one. Yeah, so I think I'm going to take this one for my highlighters. Because I think it will just match me more. It's kind of flying everywhere. Again, that doesn't bother me. Like, fallout or anything doesn't, fall uh, doesn't bother me. So... I love a good highlighter, I do. Wow, that's actually really blinding. <laughs> to finish off this look, I bought a couple of lip bits. I've got this lacquer, velvet lip lacquer. And the same, but this shade's in Hustle. This shade is called Anti Gravity, and I got three lip liners. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna. Mm. So this is the lip liner So Chic and it's like this purpley one there. Hope you can see that I'm so white. I have this lip liner called Diva I think. And it's this one, hope you can see this one. It's kind of like a um, I'm not sure how to describe this colour. It's nice though. Then this other eyeliner called Sincere. Oh shit. And it's this nudie one there, which is quite nice. I do really want to test this one. It's called Hustle. Yeah, that's nice. There it is. It smells. Oh, it smells like sweets. Oh, that's so 
couple days. And anti gravity. Oh, that's so pretty. This is my favorite color. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade today. Going in with anti-gravity. Just on top. Pick this up as well. It's really looked nice. I think it has like, um, gold shimmery bits in it. I'm gonna spray like two spritz. Okay, so it's pretty much just glitter. That's just glitter. I don't know if you can see the glitter particles like just all over my face. 